and welcome to this demonstration of ANSYS AIM. In this video, I show you how to perform an external flow analysis on a car in a virtual wind tunnel using ANSYS AIM predefined template. I will also show you how to apply inflation layers to capture boundary layer region. Finally, we will see how to do post-processing on the results in ANSYS AIM. ANSYS AIM includes some predefined templates for different kinds of analysis. For the purpose of this demonstration, I use Fleet Flow Template. In Fleet Flow Template setup, I deselect Allow Model Editing because I don't want to apply any editing on my model. Airflow Mach number is very low and in the order of 0.1, so I can assume that the flow is incompressible. Now I select the geometry of the car, which has been created in space claim. Based on the settings that I just selected, AIM is creating a template for this simulation. Now I show you how to go through the different tasks of this template and complete them. So first I move to Mesh Task and Mesh Control to define some inflation layers. Inflation layers are used in CFD simulations to capture high gradients that exist in the vicinity of the walls. Here I define the inflation layers on all the faces of the car. So I select in location box and select all the faces of the car and click on add. Then I decrease the transition ratio to 0.25 and increase the maximum layers from 5 to 10. I keep the default growth rate of 1.2. Then I move back to mesh task. In global sizing, I apply curvature and proximity size function method. With curvature size function method, AIM automatically will refine the mesh in the regions with higher curvature, and with proximity, it refines the mesh locally in the proximity regions, for example, between two or more surfaces. Now, I deselect use predefined settings to be able to apply some mesh controls of my interest. Then I apply 0.1 meters for maximum face size and 0.2 meters for maximum size. I also decrease the number of cells across gap from 5 to 3. So, the so now the mesh is ready to be generated. To generate the mesh, I click on generate mesh. Once the mesh is created, I can check the number of mesh cells and nodes from statistics. Then I start working on physics task. Here from material assignment, you can see that the material that is selected by default is air. I keep the default. I move back to physics task. Now I set the turbulence model in physics option. I click on physics options and open turbulence model here. So turbulence model by default is on I click on RANS model and change the option to K epsilon realizable and click on apply. Then I need to apply the boundary conditions. To apply an inlet boundary condition, I select the frontal face of the domain, right click, add fluid flow conditions and inlet. Here I assign a velocity magnitude of 100 km per hour. Then I define the outlet boundary condition. This time I select on this face, right click, add fluid flow conditions and outlet. At the outlet, I apply a gauge pressure of 0 Pascal. To apply the symmetry boundary condition, I select this face, again right click, add fluid flow conditions and this time symmetry. The three walls here, I select them, right click, add fluid flow conditions and wall. So these are the walls of virtual tunnel. The remaining faces are the faces of the car. To assign a wall boundary condition on these faces, I go to physics task fluid flow condition and add and apply a wall boundary condition. So all the remaining faces are selected to be wall. Here I change the name to car. 
Now my setup is ready for solve. Here I click on physics task, right click and update. Now the calculation is completed. From solution monitor panel, I can see that all the residuals are dropped to less than 1 in minus 5. Next, I move back to workflow panel and results task to do some post-processing. So first I want to create a streamline result. To do that, I click on add and a streamline. For seed location, I click the inlet face and click on apply. Also, I increase the approximate number of points to 50 and then click on evaluate. To animate the streamlines, I can right click and select animate. Next, I'm going to create a pressure contour on the car surface. So I go back to results task and this time add results of contour. Here from location, I select the surfaces of the car and select the variable of pressure and click on evaluate. Here you can see the region of high pressure at the front of the car. You can also see that as the air flows over the hood of the car, it loses pressure. But when it reaches the windscreen, the pressure again rises up. The frontal pressure on the car is one of the main components of the overall drag. Drag force is also generated by the rear vacuum. To see the rear vacuum, this time I create a contour of velocity on the symmetry plane. Here you can see the rear vacuum or what we call flow detachment. This concludes part 1 of this demonstration. In part 2, I will show you how to perform a parametric study on this model. I hope you found this demonstration useful and thank you for watching.